Hello, Pastor Chuck Church here with just a few announcements for you for this week at Lake Cities. Some days seem to drag on and on at times. This is where we learn again that our faith journey is a marathon, not a sprint. Sure, we've heard that before and maybe even could say it on our own. But what does it mean? The first thing that it means is that we won't get too far in our, in our discipleship journey on enthusiasm alone. There will be times when we've, we've hit a dry spell or when we find ourselves in a desert. Enthusiasm wanes and emotions come and go. It takes discipline to sustain the pace as we walk on our faith journey. It takes commitment and the will to keep putting one foot in front of the other. The truth before us is that we are not alone as we continue along our discipleship path. First of all, there is the ever-present uh, Spirit uh, of God who sustains us and enlivens us as we seek God more and more in our daily lives. As we proceed on the long haul of faith, God is with us. Secondly, there is a community of faith that encourages us, mentors us, learns with us, and even from us at times. We are in a relationship with the church in the long haul. Indeed, we might argue that the only way we can make it for the long haul is together. There's a saying that I shared last Sunday that sums this up. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. This, uh, starting next Sunday, on se Sunday, September 24th, we'll be beginning a new uh, sermon series called The Long Haul. This is a follow-up to our current series, The Journey Begins, because we know we've got to do this together if we want to stick together for the long haul. This year's Charge Conference uh, will look a little different. We'll be holding an individual Charge Conference at First United Methodist Church of Denton on Sunday, October 1st at 5 p.m. The meeting uh, this year will, will not have a pre-meeting before it. So that means all charge conference forms, um, all of the uh, reports from nominations to ministerial compensation to candidates for ministry will all be voted upon individually here at our charge conference. And of course, we need our members to show up for this. If you're responsible for sending in the reports, we also want to encourage you to get those forms in as soon as possible. Charge conference rep reports were already due to the church office, but we need them in our hands before Monday, September 18th, to send them out ourselves. This year, we'll be electing three new uh, people to serve on our board of stewardship, and also three new people to serve on the lay leadership committee. If you're interested in serving in either of those two places, please reach out to me and let me know. Our United Women in Faith have two events that they'd like to let you know about. The first, of course, is Chick Chat. And any and all ladies are invited for fellowship and dinner together with United Women for Faith for Chick Chat on Tuesday, September 19th at Angelina's Mexican Restaurant located in Hickory Creek. Our Chick Chat ladies meet once a month on the third Tuesday, and this is a great way to get to know one another. Our United Women in Faith will also be having their monthly meeting uh, this uh, month on Saturday, September 23rd at 10 a.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Jade Fernberg will be sharing about our uh, uh, school supply and snack collection for Betty Myers School. She will also share about her experience uh, with summer camp. Refreshments will be provided by Sandy Lane, or Sandy Land and Stephanie Lynn with the devotion led by Jade. All ladies are invited to join. Many people will be bringing their pets to church on, uh, to be blessed on St. Francis Assisi Feast Day. Uh, because of the love they have for their animals. On Wednesday, October 4th at 6.30 p.m. here at Lake Cities, we'll be, having, we'll be celebrating the blessing of the pets in the grassy area in front of the church. There will be a very brief liturgy. Then we'll line up to have our pets blessed and to thank God for the good gift of these animals. This will be great fun for all ages, so plan to bring your animal. But please be sure to bring a leash, a, a cage, or an aquarium so that we don't have wild ones running around. Join us for our first ever Wacky Wednesday at Lake City's United Methodist Church. What is Wacky Wednesday and what do we do? Well, we eat, we play, we create, and we learn. Children come together uh, to meet once a month here at Lake City's from 5.30 to 7 p.m. And, and celebrate with a seasonal theme. 
This first meeting in October will be fall themed. Kids will learn about God, scripture, and the changing of the seasons. Below uh, our, our schedule for the, the, that evening, we'll start with dinner at 5.30, followed by lessons, crafts, games, and then a closing and parent pickup. Kids of all ages are welcome, but kids younger than ele uh, elementary age, that means any kids below kindergarten through sixth grade, must attend with a parent. There's no cost, but donations are appreciated. Please register your kids at least two days before the event so that we can be sure to have enough food and crafts. Parents attending with their kids are welcome to eat as well. Well, as our children and, and youth uh, numbers continue to grow here at Lake City, so is our need for volunteers. Currently, we're seeking volunteers to help with the nursery, to help with Wacky Wednesdays, Children's Sunday School, Youth Sunday Nights. I could go on and on about the upcoming opportunities that we have for youth and children's ministries. And we need you. So if you'd like to help out, and here's the condition. you got to love God and like children. If you can do that, you're perfectly suited for this. We have the resources to train you, to equip you, so that you can uh, be a part of our children and youth ministries. Uh, reach out to me at any time to let me know of your interest. Well, do you have any other special announcements that you would like to have shared on this weekly video um, in our eJoyce or on our church website? We'll reach out to Susie Miller, our church secretary, and let her know by sharing with her details, images, and anything you might have to let us know about what announcements you like sharing. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful week, and I hope to see you in worship. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.